What's up guys, today we're going to be taking off the subframe and the swing arm, polishing the swing arm and maybe even spray painting the swing arm, so let's get into it. Start off nice and easy, we're going to get rid of this sub subframe. Um, the reason I'm doing this is it's just going to give me just a bit more access so I can clean everything up. Um, so let's get these off. So now that the subframe is off, we need to get the swing arm off and what I'm going to do first is take off the rear wheel just because uh, this nut's going to be quite tight and it's going to be hard once the swing arm is off. Did the bike just fall over and piss fuel everywhere? Yes it did. Wheel out. <laughs> so I'm just going to check for any play in the swing arm bearings. No, that one's alright. A little bit of slop in that, but I'd say it's alright. So we've got this off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take every piece off. So guys, what I did is I washed it, and then sanded it down all over with five, uh, 800, and then 1,000, no, sorry, 800, then 1,200, things like this. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get off. I might try with a toothbrush, but I just washed it. Um, but I was just gonna give you guys an update of how far I'd gone. So, I sanded my swing arm. I did it 800 grit, then 1200 grit. Um, I then washed it, degreased it, and I let it dry. So what I'm gonna do now, so if you wanted to polish it, you would just keep going higher and higher with the sandpapers, uh, up to about two and a half thousand, and then you would get some sort of buffing compound on a buffing wheel, or just rubbing it and buff it. As you can see, it's it's fairly shiny already, but I'm not keeping it silver. Well, just the raw aluminium, because if you see on the inside, I've not done the inside because you're not gonna see it. It oxidizes and it goes like a gray. Here, just like there. Go a bit darker than that, it oxidizes and goes gray. Um, and I don't want that because it's very high maintenance. Um, so what we're gonna do, so I've brought some Satin black paint. Um, we're gonna do it satin. I got a few scraps of aluminium I had and did some tests. It's like a shiny flat color, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I have a filler, a, a filler primer, sorry. So hopefully that will just get out any imperfections and just help things adhere, adhere better. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it once more and then we're going to mask off everything that needs to be masked off. Um, clean it again and then we're going to start adding the primer. Do a couple layers of that, give it a really light sand with some 1200. Um, give it a wipe and then apply the paint. Um, do a few layers of that, give it a really light sand with some 1200 again, should probably get some higher actually, maybe some 2000, and then do the clear coat, and that should give me the best finish I can get. So this is the setup. <laughs> uh, I'm surrounded by old sheets. Swing arms ready. Um, the paint is just inside sitting in some lukewarm water just to warm up the paint a bit so when I, so I can just shake it, make sure that's really well shaken. So I'm just gonna clean this and then I'm going to put gloves on so no grease or finger marks get on it. And we'll just go from there. So the swing arm's been cleaned, I'm now wearing gloves put a mask on and we'll just do a couple thin layers.
So that's the third coat on. It has actually been an hour since I put that on. It does say to leave it 24, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna check and see if I missed any parts. I can already see some under here. I've got the bottom to do yet. So. So this is the last heavy coat. And as you can see, it's laying down really nice. All right, guys. As you can see, it's laying down really well. So I'm gonna end it here and um, all I've got to do is put a clear coat on this. I'm gonna let this rest for 24 hours and then put a clear coat on it. I just wanna make sure all of this paint is really dry and so I'm just not even gonna to touch it, disturb it or anything. I'm just gonna leave it here till tomorrow and then I'll put a clear coat on it. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.